If I were to run a business off my own leadership style, I would base mine off the involvement culture, which basically works around a family-oriented environment. It takes all of the company's employees and basically puts them on the same level. It gets them what they need and they all work together. Because I believe that that is really what will make a company successful. Building off each other's ideas and having employees not afraid to come to their upper level supervisors when they have a great idea for fear of being shot down. I don't want to risk looking like a smart ass to my manager and not have uh, the assistant manager job when I clearly am very qualified for it. Being caring, that is what makes a company grow. Being open to new ideas and not just being one-sided uh, with decision making because a CEO who has been uh, the leader of a company for 30 years uh, they need fresh meat, they need fresh ideas, not just ideas coming from one person. I like the involvement culture because it emphasizes values such as cooperation, um, cutting out the status of any employees, and consideration of both employees and customers. The company is characterized by being caring and a family, and that is what I think a company should be, a family. I read the book The Last Lecture by Randy Pausch, and it really taught me um, some new management styles and you know the way that somebody in power should live their life. He taught me a couple lessons that I stated in uh, one of my previous assignments, five things that I had learned from him and one of them was that you know time is money so I can't hold back on supplies for my employees. They're my family. They're trying to get work done for me so I want to help them out. So if our copier is going really slow and Jeff is trying to fix it, you know, that's 15 minutes that he could have been done um, work. So I want to get a new copier for Jeff so he can work for me. Efficiency is crucial in a workplace and if I'm not giving them the tools to succeed then they're just spinning their tires in the mud. Another thing I learned is to not take all the credit for a big business deal or um, just something, an award that the company got. You know, you aren't the only one. Myself as the CEO or manager is not the only one who achieved this. If everybody else was not here, I would be nowhere. I have to realize that my team is what made this happen. And that's what, uh, another thing that Randy Pausch taught me is to not accept all of the glory. Spread the success around. Because you know what? That will make your team's morale go through the roof. And that is one thing that makes a well-oiled machine. Everybody's happy. Everybody knows they're doing well. Now, even though I'm saying that the company that I would run, I want it to be like a family, that doesn't mean that I'm going to play favorites with people. Because everyone has to earn their keep. Pausch said to ignore what people say and instead just watch what they do. Because in time, they will reveal their true selves. Like I said before, I'm trying to work hard for you guys, so you have to work hard for me. You help me help you. One thing that I like about the managed style that I have chosen is that I will prove that I will help out my employees. They work hard, so I have to repay them. Everybody wants a job that they love, that they're happy to come into work every day to do, and I want to make that work environment. That is what I hope to achieve with my leadership style. I want to make a work environment in which my employees are happy, efficient, and they love what they do. I hope I've elaborated enough on my topic because, uh, you know what, just talking about it right now just makes me feel like I'm preparing myself for the real world. I'm graduating in less than six months, and I am so excited to get out there and prove myself. And I hope that what I've learned in this class will help me succeed with that.